here with Heritage Broadcasting Firearms. And uh, what I just showed you was a 360 degree view of the home in which I live in right now. Uh, uh, not the home, but the property surrounding my home. Uh, it actually butts up, it actually is part of the property that goes with the home. But most of you guys know that I rent the current home that we're in. And uh, you know, we have a plan for the future or whatever, the near future as far as getting our own place and, and getting our house built and so on and so forth. But in this video, there's something that I want to talk about and it seems to be a pretty touchy subject. And I'm not really sure why, but uh, it is. So um, anyway, for the past several months since I started planning uh, for our homestead and our move and all this other stuff, I've really been looking into um, organic gardening and heirloom gardening and things like that. And um, learning about the definitions of the two and, and doing research on uh, soil preparation and fertilization and pesticides and everything. And my intent originally when I went into it was just for personal knowledge on how to be a better gardener. Um, I don't really have a green thumb, uh, but uh, you know, I, like last year, if you guys watched my videos on my garden, I didn't have a huge garden. I think my garden did pretty well last year. Um, but I'm not a natural green thumb. Um, so anyway, bear with me, the wind is a little uh, blowing a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but anyway, uh, I've been researching this for a while, and I got into reading about Monsanto and uh, GMO, uh, genetically modified uh, uh, plants things like that. And uh, then a couple days ago, Cody from Wrangler Star posted a video um, about a film called Seeds of Death. And so I watched it, and it's about an hour and 20 minutes long, and it really brought to light a lot of the really in-depth um, uh, sci scientific facts on the GMO products. Now the reason why I showed you the fields surrounding my home is because I know the farmer that farms these this land personally. And so I talked to him the other day. After watching the Seeds of Death video, um, I started wondering how much GMO uh, planting is really out there. Uh, how many farmers are actually using these uh, genetically modified seeds or and the company Monsanto and what really sparked, at first I thought there's no way that, that that's going on right here. That's got to be more to, I don't know why, where I thought it was going to happen at, but. So I, I got, I, I talked to the farmer uh, the other day and I asked him, I said, so uh, do you know anything about GMO crops? And he kind of looked at me funny, like, why are you asking that? And I said, well, you know, the genetically modified stuff. And he goes, well, I use all of my crops are uh, uh, seven ready or whatever it's called. Um, they've been treated with the seven chemical. So they're they're uh, um, basically what they are is they're uh, they're an herbicide and a pesticide preventative. So they can go through here and spray the fields and uh, it not kill the crops. And so. Anyway, after watching the video, I knew that when he said that, that that meant that that, that food or these crops were contaminated and uh, the seeds were on. So we went on talking a little bit back and forth and, and I said something about Monsanto and he asked how I knew about it and I, I told him that I had been doing some research and he said that it was a really, I'm not going to give away who he is, but he said that it's a really crappy organization and it's, it's, the reason why he uses the GMO is because of the pressure that is put on him by the big corporations. If he doesn't have a significant yield, they won't even buy his crops. And so I began to talk to him about what I had learned about the side effects of GMO crop ingestation, like ingesting, uh, eating the stuff. And he told me that, um, that it wasn't a big deal because uh, Monsanto told him that the crops weren't going to be used for human consumption, that they were only used to feed animals. And they keep this, they sell the seeds back to Monsanto and they resell them out because we all know that Monsanto owns the, 
the rights to them, which I think is garbage anyway. It's like the federal government saying that they own the water uh, water system. Um, but anyway, um, he said that it was only used for livestock feeding. Well, then I began to tell him how, you know, when the livestock ingest the chemicals that are in these crops, they produce milk that have these same chemicals in them. This milk is piped out for other calves that they feed on it. We drink the milk, and then we eat the meat that's in the, and these chemicals are in the bloodstream of the animals that we eat. And I told him that it's really, a, you know, it's a, it's a nasty thing. And I'm no professional on GMO, don't get me wrong, I'm not a subject matter expert on it, but I know enough about it that I know that it's dangerous stuff and that we are messing with the way the system is supposed to work. We're messing with the way God created it, with the way, whether you believe in God or not, we're messing with the way that nature is made to work. And uh, I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of it. And, uh, you know, uh, Cody said as far as me and my house, uh, we'll eat natural foods and, and grow our own foods and stuff. And I agree with him 100%. And this video I'm making is, is not only, you know, uh, just a video, an informational video on this, it's also a supportive, a supportive video for Cody. Um, you know, he had the, uh, you know, the, the nerve enough to, to make a video and, and uh, stand up against it, and he caught a lot of slack. And like he said, um, he thought it, would either, it was either, had to either be that the people that were commenting were either trolls, or uh, they're just so naive that they don't know. And so, um, I just wanted to make the video to kind of bring to light, if you're not a subscriber of Cody, bring it, uh, to bring to light what's going on with uh, Monsanto as the company and the GMO FDA stands behind it and um, you know it's just really crappy and like I said it's it's a lot of information I'm not an expert on it but I support Cody's stance on it and as far as me and my house we'll do the same thing um, I will uh, boycott if you want to call it that buying if I have to. Um, you guys know I'm getting ready to have a kid and it's just around the corner or probably within the next week or so. And we plan to do everything as natural as possible for this childbirth, including breastfeeding. And if I'm giving my wife food with those chemicals in it, then my baby is getting those chemicals. So anyway, what I want you to do, guys, is I want to encourage you to watch the Seeds of Death video. It's a very in-depth documentary about the scientific research that was performed on GMO products. And I want you to, to take it to heart, keep an open mind, and really think about what, you're, what they're telling you. Um, you know, the, the government, the FDA, any government or, uh, entity or organization, they can't be trusted anymore. Um, you can't just go with whatever you're told. That's how we end up in the situation that we're in in the government that we're in now. You have to do your own research and you have to self-educate. So I encourage you, I'm gonna put the link to the video down below, the Seeds of Death video. I encourage you, take an hour and 20 minutes and watch the video. It'll be worth your while. Um, and do your own research, self-educate. So um, anyway guys, that's all I've really got for this video. I just wanted to, to bring the lot. You know, this is for real. Uh, when you hear about GMO, it's not off in a foreign land somewhere. Uh, it affects us at our home front. It affects me in 360 degrees from where I live. And so it's real. It's really happening. Uh, it's fact. It's what's happening right now. So I want you guys to, to do some research and check it out. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, that's all I have for this video. Uh, keep a lookout. I've got a new homestead series that I'm getting ready to kick off, um, and it's basically going to be my plan uh, from now until uh, all the way through building the homestead and everything. So uh, keep a lookout for the first video in that series coming out here pretty soon, and then that series will continue for probably the next year uh, as I get everything in place and start building and so on and so forth. So. Anyway, guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.